Now that the... I'm ready, Captain. Good, because this mission demands your... Now, before we launch our attack on the... In they're a small but capable group that uses something in our attack I've been waiting for you. Sorry to have held you up. Try and keep up from here out. Our targets are inside. The situation, we move in. Let's get going already. Affirmative. Here are the recall codes. Follow me. The mission's parameters just changed. You're going shooting. Requesting backup relay.
trouble. Who's there? I can't believe you do that for us. Thank you. <clears throat> You've given us another chance at life. We won't forget it. Excuse me. We'll get somewhere safe as soon as you're gone. <clears throat> Thank you for sparing us.
You know, in all my years, I've never set foot outside the Institute. Not once. Since the day they brought me here. I've never had a reason. But now, this just confirms the truth I've always known. The Commonwealth is dead. There's no future here. The only hope for humanity lies below. It's not so bad, really. People manage. Perhaps. But at a cost too great to be worth it. Standing here, I'm reminded of how fortunate I am that I was spared a life in this wasteland. I know that to you, I was kidnapped from that vault. In truth, the Institute rescued me. Both of us, really. They kept me alive, too. They did, indeed. I was the perfect candidate. An infant with uncorrupted DNA. But if something were to go wrong, if I died, well, the Institute realized a contingency plan was prudent. Another source of pre-war DNA, preferably related to their primary subject. It only made sense that my parents should fill that role. So you were kept alive and safe within the vault. I'll admit, when I had you released from Vault 111, I had no expectations that you'd survive out here in all this. To not only do so, but manage to find me. To infiltrate the Institute itself. Extraordinary. Your unconditional love is overwhelming. I think I need a moment. I can accept that you're offended. You must understand, though. I have had no love to feel. We have been strangers until now, you and I. Certainly, it was no longer necessary to keep you suspended. I... Well, I suppose I wanted to see what would happen. An experiment of sorts. I had no idea what kind of man you were, you see. Would the Commonwealth corrupt you? As it has everything else. Would you even survive? Perhaps most curious to me. Would you... After all this time, attempt to find me. And now I know the answer. Sean, you need to know. I still love you. I can see that you do. It's... Well, it's remarkable. Soon, I hope... I hope you'll understand. Everything I've done has been for the future. A future which I hope is not in jeopardy after recent events. Bunker Hill did not go well for us. Would you care to explain what happened? We were totally ambushed. They were waiting for us. You can imagine that I find that very hard to believe, given that all the intelligence leading up to this indicated we'd taken them by surprise. Bunker Hill was to cement your place as a valuable asset to the Institute. It will now only raise suspicions. And to see the Brotherhood of Steel involved in this? They had no way of knowing what was going on. I will refrain from sharing the outcome with the Directorate for the moment. Things are already in motion that this would only derail. Speaking of which... It's time for you to become more involved in the future of the Institute. I'd like you to join me inside. The Directorate is meeting. And you should be there. I'll be waiting. I've seen enough. It's time to go back in.
maintenance. Please file a report with the facilities division. Perhaps after you've been disassembled, we can use your components to make something that's actually useful. Yes, sir. Good, we're all here. I think it's time we begin. Sir, excuse me, but what exactly is he doing here? I will address that issue. But there are other subjects that require our attention first. The level of unrest in the Commonwealth continues to rise, as we're all aware. Your report. All Institute facilities remain completely secure, with the exception of one notable breach. Otherwise, internally, things are as tight as they've ever been. Dr. Ao has been keeping an eye on things topside. Yes, uh, Watchers show no additional threats beyond those previously identified. We're still monitoring the increased activity around Ford Independence, but there are no immediate signs we should be concerned. Boston International Airport remains occupied, with Brotherhood presence noted at several other points throughout the Commonwealth. Intelligence suggests that this railroad continues to operate and is becoming more ambitious. SRB agents are monitoring all known situations, sir. Very good, thank you. It's clear that our safety needs to be the primary concern going forward. To that end, where are we on phase three? Excuse me, but sir, are you sure this is, well, the proper time to be discussing that? Considering, I mean, Given all parties present? Ah, yes, that's true. Have you heard anything about Phase 3? I have no idea what that is. I'll admit I'm relieved. It's intended to be something of a classified project, which I'm sure means everyone already knows about it. Power is, as I'm sure you've seen above ground, a very valuable commodity. I'm not talking about some abstract concept of control. I mean real, tangible power. The kind that keeps the lights on. With every advance the Institute makes, our need for raw power increases. Many compromises and sacrifices have been made over the years to allow progress to continue. Right. Such hard times down here. I would never disagree that life in the Institute is better than above ground. We have done much to ensure it. Now, we take things even further. Phase three is simply the activation of a nuclear reactor that can provide enough power to the Institute now and forever. It will ensure not just our survival, but our prosperity. Sounds like an important step. That's... well... That's an understatement. The reactor is close to ready, but recent tests have determined we have a few tasks ahead of us. Thus, we come to Phase 3, and to how you will help. Sir? Yes, Dr. Ayo. Previously, we would rely on Kellogg for above-ground operations, yes? Well... He is gone. While I'm not overly fond of putting my own father in harm's way, he has proven more than capable of handling himself. Uh, yes, but... This is not a matter for debate. Now, 
There is one more subject that requires discussion. I don't know that this is the time. Dr. Holdren, it is time. Please, as I'm sure several of you are already aware, I have been under Dr. Volkert's care for some time. I'm sorry, this is difficult for me. Our best efforts have failed. Every experimental treatment we could devise has been unsuccessful. I'm... I'm sorry to say I am dying. No! Please, be serious! Everyone, please, I am sorry. This is not how I wanted to tell you, but we're running out of time. Why would you joke about this? It isn't funny. Were it a joke, I'd agree it's in poor form. But I'm afraid it's not. We can talk more later. Right now, the future of the Institute is at stake. The Institute cannot survive without leadership. The Directorate must continue to govern with the best interest of all in mind. To that end, I am naming my father as my successor. Oh, boy. You can't be serious! Really? How can you possibly justify this? He isn't one of us. He isn't even a scientist. Ignoring your borderline, insubordinate tone, I will simply say this. The Institute has enough scientists. What it needs is a leader. I believe my father has already proven himself more than capable in that regard. This will conclude this meeting. Thank you. Humanity's future is taking root right here. The Institute's a big place. It to learn where everything is. I had no idea. I know this is... Well, it's a lot to take in at once. I'm sorry, Father. I hope it wasn't too presumptuous of me to put you in charge without even asking first. I can do the job. Of course you can. That's why I made the decision. There's no question that some of the Directorate and the Institute at large will need reassurances about your appointment. That's why I'd like you to take charge of this latest operation. Dr. Fillmore can fill you in on the details. There are hard decisions ahead for all of us, but for you especially. I know that you'll do the right thing. I dislike resorting to the use of commonwealth The advantage it will provide in this case cannot be about to get busier. You're going to lead this operation, I'm told. Absolutely. All right, let's go over the details. Recent events have upset our timetable. Getting the reactor online has become our number one priority. We're going to have to cut some corners. I'm not thrilled, but it means we'll need to rely on... You're going to the mass fusion building to acquire a beryllium. Consider it done. I'll consider it done when I've got it in my hand. 
No way. You're not going. Well, that's about the most insulting thing I've heard in a... Okay, you're on your own then. Uh -huh. Not to put more pressure on you, but we have to move quickly on this. We don't want them getting the agitator. Be Head on up to the relay, and they'll get you over to Mass Fusion in a flash. Pun sort of intended. Ah, Paladin. Good. Now that the... I'm ready, Captain. Good. Because this mission demands your... Now, before we launch our attack on the... In they're a small but capable group that uses subter... Our tactical analysis says they could possibly hamper or harm our operations. Which, if we strike them now, we should be... Hit them before they hit us? I like it. Precisely. Destroying the railroad hinges on completely eliminating their leadership. Okay. Uh -huh. To that end, here's a list of them. Consider it done. Thank you, Paladin. When you're ready, they'll provide demoli. Add Victoria. Uh huh. If you find anything interesting in the railroad headquarters, don't forget to bring it back here. Excuse me, Proctor Ingram. If you're no good at hacking Pam's systems, you should take someone with you who can. Try and get Pam back here in one piece, okay? Try and get Pam back here in one piece. It's okay. It went dark. If you want, I need some covering.
Security mode enabled. Force interface is unavailable at this time. <laughs> <laughs> 